tonight on the interview. Let's cross over to Matters Education and the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Examinations, KCSE, has kicked off today with candidates sitting their practicals and oral exams amid concerns over exam integrity and recent changes to the CAPSIA exams. Meanwhile, teachers' unions are urging the government to ensure timely payments for examination markers and enhance security during this exam period. Candidates sitting KCSE have begun their practicals and oral exams in French, German, Arabic, Sign Language and Music. The examinations will be administered to 956,501 candidates in 10,500 centers across the country. From floods to Gen Z demonstrations and high school teachers' strike, Collins Oyu, Secretary General of NAT, has called on the government to be lenient in the exam administration process. Kenya National Examination Council should be very flexible in making sure that the handling of the process of examinations is not taken beyond, you know, it is not blown out of proportion. Teachers unions are calling on the government to provide adequate security measures to protect the integrity of exams and prevent disruptions. The payment of examination markers has become a hot topic with the unions now demanding timely payments. When it comes to payment, you realize that teachers are being paid below even the minimum which a casual laborer would earn a day. Whatever has been passed to be paid must come at the right time. Concerns have been raised regarding recent changes in the CAPSEA exams with suggestions that this modification may negatively affect final results. They ought to have left their learners in their respective schools because if they carried out the trial exams in these centers, why are they now moving them when it comes to the national uh, final assessment. Theory examinations are expected to start next week along with the Kenya Primary School Assessment Kipsea for Grade 6 and Musungu KTN News, Nairobi. And now on Matters Health, the principal...